Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of a new series called Beacon Light Dev Diaries. This series is going to be me basically developing a mod pack called Beacon Light, which will include things like the chunk expander, which you see behind me. It's not expanding right now, but that's all right because that means it's doing its job correctly right now. And then also based on people will have different soul abilities based on their beacon light. Uh, specifically, it will track whether someone is able to die or able to respawn. That, that's really the power that it has. Uh, and I'm going to be using tags, which I know work because I got it to teleport me. I laughed out loud when that when that actually worked. So... <laughs> oh. Right, because I logged into the world. <laughs> <laughs> so wanted to do this episode quick this intro quickly before i got too far into it also a note about my mic i know i do i might sound a bit breathy that's because i have a new mic so the settings are different and i haven't figured out which setting i need to change so until then i think my mic isn't as good but it does work so i like it So I need to figure out what the next step is. Um, I guess tag move live and then add spirit. That was supposed to do something. Um, hmm. Guess I got my first problem. Hold on. Let me pause while I figure out. All right. So hopefully. Add spirit. So tag or has too many tags. Okay. Oh, that's actually helpful. That's actually helpful. Because I was worried that like I would get duplicate tags. Oh, oh, there there we go. So I need to take off the particles and stuff. And then okay, so now I need to do Okay, so I made the edits I wanted to make, so hopefully this should... Okay. Well, now I just need to clear a... Uh... Sorry, this is my first time recording this type of video, and this is basically me just showing in the process. <laughs> it's a lot of trying to think and type at the same time. Um... Okay, so I should have fixed whatever I needed to fix. There we go. Took it a moment, but it fixed it. Okay, so if I go back to being... Because the reason I'm not just putting them into, uh, like, a spectator, because spectator can go through walls and I don't want that to happen. Um, okay. And then in, in the moment... It... Huh. Oh! Yeah, so that's what the expander does, so we'll see. But this as one more. So at the start of the video, it was right here, and then right now it's over there. And that's intentional. And wow, my game's lagging. There we go. Instantly clears up. Now I'm going to set some stuff up to test if I can just put myself in adventure, if I'm also putting myself in adventure mode, because that's one of the things that needs to work. So. I'll be right back, and then I'll show you guys what I have set up. Alright, so, I did add some things, and so I did do some testing. I didn't test do all the things that I needed to, I just needed to know whether players can open chests, and whether they can interact with the world such as this. Now, this is just for mining purposes, like, for right now. Hold on. Well, let's do this. So one of the things I added was like something where, first off, I eliminated the uh, like blindness. It would normally show up this up here corner, but now it does not. And if you look at a character, 
look at someone, they won't show the effects of the particles. Um, there we go. And then if we walk up here, and so currently we just have the, uh, so we had the sphere and then popped over here and we got back to the world of the living. But if, if I do this, where I do tag myself, add what, uh, spirit, that will be the only one there. Meanwhile, if I move onto here, and I do list, they'll just say alive. So now I just have a way where all I have to do is one command, and then it'll sort me back. Also, currently I'm in survival, but if I do this, then I am not. I'm in adventure. I can still open chests, but that's okay. Uh, I need to, if I can figure out a way where I can lock all chests for people who are spirits, I will add it. Um, but for right now, I think I'm good. So that's it for that start. Um, I want to add a cooldown for when they go from being al like like alive to being in their spirit form. Well, spirit to alive. Because for their spirit form, they're just going to be dead. It's just going to be have to just be on a certain player death. Uh, but then when they're alive, I want there to be like a cooldown. So, need to figure out how I'm gonna add that. I might do it where it's like certain ticks will include it or something like that. Um, or maybe I could have it where it, like you have to wait for the moon. Whoop, <laughs> typed in chat. Uh, might be good for that because for the um, expanse, I have it where it activates every night. And that's how it works. So I wonder if I could modify the code where it also runs the sort of like, where it runs sort of the um, alive, <laughs> I'm alive command. So that would be interesting. Also, I wonder if I can do it where it's just that it's whether or not it's on. I'm going to need to move these. So. I'm going to be back in just a moment when I have basically set up everything that I feel like I need to. So be right back. All right, I am back. And I've just reloaded them because I made some changes. As you can see, it's still expanding. Um, but hopefully I got it to where... Where I want it to be now. So if I do time set, get, so I'm gonna give myself a little more time because I need to do tag. Hear it? Ah, no, I missed it. I missed it. Fudge. Uh, so now I stand on it. It's not gonna do anything until it hits midnight. In which case I have been teleported and I am now a spirit. So, uh, well, I'm now alive, I guess. So that worked exactly how I wanted it to. Yes. I mean, I still want like a countdown, but because you have to be there at a certain time. Oh man, that's cool. So a couple changes. First, I added more of the effects that I wanted onto the spirit form. So I will be showing you that. And I've also decided since it's just like such a surprise time, like specific time for them to respawn, uh, for the player to respawn when they're a spirit, I've decided, and eh, don't need fear of cooldown. The wait will be annoying enough. So <laughs> I figure, and I might add one where it also works at noon, but I will, we'll figure that out later. Anyway, so uh, tag, add, root, and I won't immediately notice any difference, because I took away the blinding, but, 
something happened. Okay, huh? Let's see if it works now. Let's see if it works now. There we go. Now you will. See? I'm invisible. Like, obviously, if I get armor or something, then, I, then you'll be able to see me. So, there is that. But there's, like, no effects. I'm just, like, I'm just a ghost. And that is intentional. I don't know how to hide armor, but this works for what it's needed. <laughs> it's so funny just to see the floating Elytra. <laughs> okay, I'm taking that off. Um, but, so, I have saturation. So, I can't actually die. Because in, in... So, Adventure Mode, which I currently have everyone in, so they can't, like, affect most blocks, they will get... still have to manage hunger, and will get attacked by mobs. So weakness means they, they can't do anything, especially to the amplifier that I actually have it set as. Then you have slow falling, which negates fall, fall damage. And by the way that I have it, it should like just decrease all fall damage. And, and then you have invisibility, like I just showed off. Water breathing, so they can't take any water damage. Um, then they have regeneration, so they just will not die from anything from anything if even if you uh set their health then uh let's see how do i do this someone zombie see i'm still getting attacked by them but i can't really do anything because i'm so weak i am hitting Probably turn off the. Um... <laughs> this is not a good explanation of showing it off. Uh... I'm amazed that that one spawned with a shovel and nothing else. Just like. And it's just by me. It's just there. Come on. Oh. Oh. I can't even push them back. I have to, like, hope that I don't get. We're off. Ah, how about B? Why is weakness the one that left? Stay. Alright, added a command block, so now I don't have to run the actual command. <laughs> so let's try this again. Um, zombie. Oh, hi! Oh man, didn't realize that not back was be so much annoying with the soul falling. Oh, get away. I wonder if I can just do instant health instead, then. Uh... Oh! Huh. Uh... Oh, I'm not letting you kill me again. Alright, so I switched the health thing from... Uh, instead of simply just the... Do I still have... All right, I'm still a spirit. Um, so basically, basically, I switched the. Oh, I need to reload. Reload. So I switched. All right. Okay. Hi, health boost. That is not what I want. <laughs> Hold on. I I I'm gonna just fix that. Hold on. Hello. Yeah. So. I'm not taking any damage, even though I'm being hit. Nor can I give damage. So it's really just annoying. Okay. And then, so, these will go out. That works exactly how I wanted it to work. So, now I need to figure out what I'm going to be doing next. So, let's see.
All right, so I collected my thoughts a little bit and I reset the border to be right here so I could still access spirits, but then I could also just... Um... So I also, time set, added something. So obviously if we're on here and we have spirit tag, then we'll be teleported over here. Oh, I got it like almost perfectly, wow. Okay, and then, but if this is off, it still teleports me because I am alive. Okay. But if this is on and it's... Hmm. I'm going to have to check that again. Because a uh, quick explanation of what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get it where it doesn't like teleport and do that uh, if I don't... Um, if this is off. So I need to fix that. That's why I have this whole contraption. This is just to help me test with glass. So that way you can turn in a different color because eventually this will come into play when you get soul colors involved. I'm not, I looked at the time that I've been recording and I don't think I'll be doing that today. I might still do it. We'll see. We'll see if I could get to it. Um, depends how long I have, but for right now, that's what that function is going to be. People will be able to choose what kind of soul they want. And that soul color will impact these this glass and then it'll impact uh, when where they can spawn and then uh, this is supposed to supposed to test the blocking mechanism so i don't really know how to do that i need to still check some stuff so it's going to remain on right now and so and obviously progress is that it's gone out two blocks so <laughs> Well, I did get where it has to be a full beacon. Like, if I get placed down this beacon, uh, yeah, sure, let's put it right over here. Then it won't work. So, really, not even nighttime. Gonna have to fix that. Hold on. All right, I have switched it. And obviously I'm in spirit mode right now, but uh, we do time set midnight. I'm standing on this and nothing's happening, even though I'm standing on a beacon. In my old code, you would. Um, but if I do midnight and I just missed it, it normally would have worked. Did I break something? I think I broke something. I have something that I'd like to change because I assume if I still stand on this that in a moment when it hits midnight I'll still be able to because this is what I'm trying to prevent. I'm trying to prevent that um, that someone can come along like be alive when even though they're just standing on a normal beacon. I want it to where it's a powered beacon. Now, it doesn't look like, unless you add bucket stuff or add a weird sensing thing, you won't be able to actually detect if a beacon is on or not. It'll just be for aesthetic purposes, which I guess is all right. The beacon block is a cool block. I'll give it that. Uh, but that does mean I need to I'd have to check to see if it's just a beacon or if it's a beacon that actually has it here like this one because this one has it here where it's sort of let me use some of these blocks okay so right now how that's set up it's it may be hard to see but there's a beacon right here underneath the emerald which is basically powering the beacon and the power will mean that well, it's power. And I wanted to where it's this situation, even at low level, that yes, Beacon is active, or at least is able to produce effect, and therefore a person can become alive. However, if they do not have it where it's like this setup, where it's just this, where it's just one on the ground, it's just snowed underneath, then I don't want it to work. So 
Um, apologies for the lag. I don't know why it's lagging. So, huh. Okay, I added a piece of code. So, should work now. And time set midnight. All right, so that one's working. Now I need to test the other one. Time set midnight. Ah, haha, -ha, it does work. So at least I got it where it has to be a beacon that could activate if one wishes uh, for it to be able to respawn a person, which, which works. Uh, I wish I could get it to where if the beam, like the beam also has to be available, but I guess it doesn't have to worry about it. I wonder if I could also have it, uh, hold on, I'm going to do another check. Oh, because I want to see if I can limit it to just like health or regeneration, have those effects specifically, because then it'll at least be um, added. I don't know why I'm going this specific. Like the time thing should make it where it's all right, but I want to see if I can make this work. Because then it'll be at least close enough to what I had envisioned in my head. So uh, we're doing that. All right, so uh, I did check to see which regeneration or health boost existed on a beacon. And it turns out it would be at full power. They would need full power to make that work where it would have the highest level of pyramid. And I didn't want, I wouldn't want players to do that or need to do that. So I'm going to use the time restraint enough, but I do want to see if I can have it where it's noon time, if that can also be added. So I'm going to quickly add that and see if it works. So I should be able to just set to noon and then I should be able to pop over. Time set noon. Aha! Yes, I did it. So now it's both at noon and midnight, um, which will definitely help the players. And with that, I guess I will end the episode here because I accomplished everything, or at least most things that I wanted to accomplish. And I'm at least satisfied with how it turned out. So while it wasn't the ideal, ideal situation, I do like what I've been able to incorporate with the noon and the night, and then the status effects that I can use. So, and even though I wasn't to get the bean activation, I was able to where it's not just the single block of a beacon. So at least it's something. At least it's something that can uh, work well. So with that, I hope you, mm, I hope you enjoyed the episode and I hope you have a good day. Goodbye.